Welcome back, America. Now, given the police state tactics of the Biden administration and the Democrat Party, now we get to Donald Trump. Remember the dorm report about Russia collusion? People should read it. He shot torpedoes into the side of the Department of Justice and FBI like no prosecutor has ever done in my lifetime. And I speak as a former attorney, uh, chief of staff to the attorney general of the United States. The corruption at the FBI, at the Department of Justice, remains. And it comes at the top. Merrick Garland. Merrick Garland is a very angry man who wanted to be on the Supreme Court. Now he's attorney general. He's enormous power. And he's using it. Every decision made at the federal level affecting Donald Trump has to be approved by him and his radical left-wing deputy, uh, Deputy Attorney General Monaco. But they're worse than Stalin. These are worse than Stalin trials. These are worse than communist show trials. Can you name one targeted victim during the Stalin regime who was indicted in four different jurisdictions? Can you name one who is facing 91 charges? Can you name one who is facing almost 1,000 years in prison? No. This is worse. So why are they doing this? This is all coordinated, folks. All coordinated between the locals, the state, and the feds. All Democrats, all Democrat cities. That's why they're not bumping into each other when they make these announcements. More than that, they're coming seriatim, one after another. You have to plan those things. They don't just happen. They're trying not to interfere with each other, but they're dumping all the charges, making all the publicity, draining Trump of his resources, draining Trump of the ability to campaign for president of the United States, all in the last five months. And they want all their trials in the next six to 12 months. That's not coincidence. He's charged with crimes relating to election activity. He's charged with crimes relating to documents. He's char charged with crimes relating to non-disclosure agreements. He's charged with crimes relating to campaign activity in one state. He was charged before with a phony impeachment where he turned out to be right. And they didn't even go through the normal due process such as it is that the House of Representatives has traditionally. Then he was charged again with another impeachment. And he was tried when he was in Mar-a-Lago. An impeachment that accused him of insurrection and sedition for which he's never been charged. And he never did. Then we had the Mueller criminal investigation, where he had to give testimony, written answers, and, and there were thousands of subpoenas. His kids were, were all brought in. Hundreds and hundreds of witnesses and so forth. They had nothing. All intended to sabotage his presidency. That's a police state. And they're doing it to you. I just went through a whole long list of things. And they're doing it to you right now. Now, on top of that, look at this. They use a grand jury in Washington, D.C. to bring charges that are related to Florida. That violates, as I keep saying here, venue limitations in the Department of Justice manual for prosecutors. That is an abuse of power. What else? Uh, you're not supposed to bring actions that may have an impact on an election. That's another section of the Department of Justice regulations. Federal prosecutors and agents may never select the timing of any action, including investigative steps, criminal charges, or statements for the purpose of affecting any election or for the purpose of giving an advantage or disadvantage to any candidate or political party. The only time they can do it is when it's approved by the Attorney General of the United States. What about attorney-client privilege? Have you ever had an attorney? Have you ever had somebody you're up against? And the person you're up against goes to a judge and says, you know, I think those two are colluding to commit a crime. And she holds a secret hearing. And she says, you know what, I think you're right. So your lawyer has to testify for the other side in a grand jury and provide all the written notes of your conversations. Ladies and gentlemen, why go through the motions of justice? Just hang the guy. You know how far back attorney-client privilege goes? 1577, English common law. That's English common law. But it goes back before that, too. Ancient Rome believed in attorney-client privilege. Modern-day America does not. So here are the charges for June 8th.
documents. What are they charging him with? Well, violations of the Espionage Act of 1917. That law was created by Woodrow Wilson to imprison 2,000 of his political opponents, as I've told you, including a presidential opponent, Eugene Debs. They rounded it up, they put him in prison so he could get through the election. What else? False statements. False statements? You can drive a truck through that allegation of false statements. What else? The Enron statutes. The Enron obstruction statutes were never intended to be applied to a president of the United States. Here's the crap indictment that all the legal analysts says this is where the problem is right here. Not if we're a republic with a true rule of law. That's crap. Then we have, here's another one. Here we have the January 6th case. And I've told you before, what did he do, Mr. Smith? 1871 Klan Act. What? The Enron Act. The guy loves the Enron Act on obstruction and a financial fraud statute. Look, right here. Oh, my God. Crap. Mr. Smith goes to Washington and Mr. Smith blows up the place. Here we have Atlanta, Georgia by Fannie Willis. Now, look at her indictment. I don't even know if she read the damn thing. You know what this is? A hundred pages of bull. I could take one section out of here. Let me ask you a question. Are you allowed to challenge a campaign and open and challenge its legitimacy? According to her, no. So put RICO aside and every other charge aside. She just ch charged somebody with a felony under state law for exercising their federal First Amendment free speech right. That's part of this crap. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.